artificial one. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so we'll start. Today's topic, today's topic is, I'm sure everybody want to know, yeah, about happiness. About two weeks ago, I had talk with some people who are living in Tibet. And the topic is, do you feel happy there? Or do you know why people feel happy there? So we had a long discussion. There are people in general, they, they don't have too much material stuff. But it seems many of them are very happy. They just shows they are very happy. <clears throat> so why, why they are so happy? Why they are there, they feel happy? Yeah. I'm thinking we discuss these questions. We simply can see from their face. It's not like big city, people very nervous. Uh, on their face, you can see they are smiling, not on the surface, but inside from the heart, they are smiling. As we know, in our life, we have too many troubles. If you visit a hospital, you can see so many sufferings. So many people there suffering from age because they are old, they lost their abilities to help themselves. So many people, they get sick, they suffering from different pain, discomfort, et cetera. In our normal life, also you'll find even yourself. In many times, you feel boring. Even if you have a good job, you still feel boring. You feel lonely. You feel alone at home. Even you have husband, if you have children, but you still feel alone. You have so many things you need to do, but still you feel boring. We have so many things which can attract our mind, but when we are quiet, when we have nothing to do, when we're going to sleep, we feel boring. Yeah, this is why all over the world, so many people like drink alcohol. So many people like to use drugs because they feel boring. So here's a question, how we can achieve the happiness state, the happy state, how we can get rid of these bad emotions, how we can get rid of sufferings to achieve the happy life. Yeah, even I discussed with somebody who are monk or Buddhist practitioners. And they say, you know, this is not so easy. To be happy is not so easy. Why? Because it seems we are living your dream. It seems we have no ability to do what is really need. It seems we are controlled by the current situation. Your job, your wish, your desire, your family, your friends, etc. So many things hold you, yeah? Uh, hold you and you cannot do what you really like. 
you have to first to get enough material stuff to survive, to support your family, or to realize some matter purposes for yourself, your family, or your companies, or your country, etc. We know there are so many things it should not happen. Yeah, many fightings, wars, you see their histories. You can see human beings' history in China, in Europe, everywhere. Yeah, fighting, fighting, fighting. So many people really get bored. Anxiety, stress, depression. Many people, many people didn't feel happy. Yeah, in so many different kind of situations of human beings' history, you will find, you would find so many times human beings didn't live in the happy state. That means we don't have a peaceful time. The history of human beings, not so many peaceful time. So today we want to discuss in any situation, how we can achieve the happy state, what we need to do in order to be happier. We know we worry about so many things. We worry about our own life. We worry about our family members. We worry about our friends. We worry about our cities. We worry about our countries. We worry about the earth. We, wor we worry about our world, right? Yeah, if we worry about something, means if we worry someone, that means we love someone. If we don't worry about something, means it's no relationship with us. So as a human being, we really have no good method to be happy always. Yeah. We have no ways to easily get rid of all bad emotions. But still, we found always in any situation, there are somebody, they are happy. Yeah, they are joyful. Even they have risk. Even they have many troubles in their life, still they feel relaxed. They feel happy. As a ZY Qigong practitioners, we know what is our way to receive the happiness. As we know, As we know, the happiness connect with our state. Yeah. If we can relax well, we can strengthen our health. We can keep our good body's condition, be healthy. If our mind can be calm, and then from mind, from heart, the state of happiness will show, will appear. Yeah, this is a way how we meditate. We meditate to get there, to get the result. Or we also can say, from the first level, we get relaxation. Yeah, we get health. 
From the second level, we are quiet, we are calm, and then we get happiness. Okay, so today, in general, this is discussion about our purpose in the second level to get there, quietness or calmness. How we know that your state, if you always feel happy, that means your mind, your heart is quiet, is calm. Some of you, I'm sure, use, uh, especially who have been Shaolin retreat, in a few years, the immortal sister stays there with us. And if you uh, talk somehow, always contact with immortal sister, you will get a conclusion almost every time. She just tell, ah, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so enjoy, enjoy the life, he's joyful to see this, to see that, everything. She was so happy. She always show happy, always tell me, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. And then many people, your friends are talking with you, start to complain, this I don't like, that I don't like, this gave me trouble, that person is not honest, that person is awful. Yeah, this politics is too bad, these presidents are very bad. Yeah, we complain so much. Yeah, we don't enjoy, or we don't feel the situation, we need to enjoy it, or in general, you cannot tell lies, that is your feeling. Your feeling shows you don't feel happy. If from your inside, you feel so happy, you will tell people you are happy. Yeah? Okay. So we do know in our world, in our society, in our country, in our company, in our families, there are so many troubles, problems, which make us don't feel happy. If you don't realize your desires, you don't feel happy, right? Yeah, you want to have something, like you want to have a girlfriend or buy a friend, you cannot get, you don't feel happy. You want to have uh, cars, you want to have a good job, you can't get it, you feel unhappy. Yeah, you meet somebody, you don't like this person, but this person is so close to you, you don't feel happy. You eat some food, you don't like the sour food, you don't feel happy. So many things, we don't feel happy, it causes us troubles. We don't feel happy. We have no ability to change external world. You cannot change the earth, the weather, the climate, the universe. Even you cannot change your country. Even you cannot change your company. Even you cannot change your family. Finally, it is the end. Even you have no ability to change yourself. Yeah, you know, you should not smoke. You cannot change it. You have troubles. You don't feel happy. You want to do it, you cannot realize it. You know you use drugs, which cause so many troubles to you. You want to stop it, you can't. Suddenly we found the happiness somehow is far from us, too far from us. Okay. If you have time, if you really have so many sufferings, if you don't have happiness, 
Okay, now calm down. Slow down. To have a rest. To have a thinking. Why you don't feel happy? Why? Pick out the reason. Why you don't feel happy? You need to analyze your own condition. Why you don't feel happy? Okay. So now let's discuss. Let's have a discuss. Who, as you know, really feel happy? Yeah. Who? Oh, who always feel happy? I know. Not too many people. Not too many people always feel happy, but definitely there are some people who always feel happy. Certainly, we are emotional people. Sometimes we are happy. Sometimes we are sad. Sometimes we are angry. It seems normal, but the happiness should always inside. Yeah, it doesn't matter. What's wrong outside? But the internal happiness should be always there. If internal you don't have happy, you don't feel happy. You don't have happiness inside. If you always have sadness, you get physical troubles. If you always have fear, you get kidney troubles. If you always complain, you'll be angry to something or somebody. Later, your liver have trouble. So all these bad emotions will destroy our physical health. All these bad emotions will destroy our happy state. Sometimes they think we are human being. If we are human being, certainly we will have all these things: happy, sad, suffering, etc. All these bad emotions, good emotions, we always have it, right? Right. But we maybe didn't think in all this normal state. Normal situation, always some some other excellent situation, good situation. If we can get there, and we'll be much happier. It's just like our body. For most people in our life, we definitely have some sickness. It's like simple, right? Like. Yeah, it's like a standard, like rules. Everybody will some sickness. We accept this fact. But if we really know life well, if we really understand our body well, and probably in our whole life, we will never get so bad physical sickness. Also, we know when we become age, we are too old. We start have troubles in our life, not simply sickness, like we cannot move well, we cannot hear well, we cannot see well. It disturb our regular life. So we have no complaint because we are too old. We have to accept this fact. Right, right, but also we know if we do something, we do something. Yeah, it can be our whole life. 
we don't have some serious sickness. If we're doing something really good, when we are old, still we can hear well, still we can see well, still we can manage our own life. We don't need other people to help. If we manage ourselves well, it can be at the end of your life. You still healthy, happy, just at night, even you know where you are going to go, you, you tell your family members, yeah, I'm going to leave, guys, stay here, enjoy your life. I'm going to leave. And then at night, you sit or you lie on your lie down your bed, and then you left. Next day morning, your family your family members see you stop breathing, but on your face you see a smiling, no any sufferings, happy face. Yeah, check around you. How many people reached this state? How many rich people? How many high position level? What's their procedure of death? Hospital, in the hospital, few tubes, even tubes have helped to breathe, to give food. Even for so long time, you cannot tell. You simply, yeah, breathe, your heart beating, but you have no ability to communicate. This is why nobody know how bad you feel, but you cannot tell. Your face tell, your face never smiling, your face always tearing, always feels so bad suffering face. If somebody in this state for a few months or a few years, that is ah, how awful it is. Too bad, right? Yeah. So in our life, we really need to, need to do something. We really need to do something for ourselves. So every day inside we can feel happy. We have a happy state. Even when we are old, even during the procedure of death, we still feel happy. So Ziwa Kigong, the second level in general, want to let us to experience a procedure to keep a happy state. Yeah, this looks simple, but if we can realize this, that is perfect, right? Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> In order to be happy, to solve our troubles, sufferings, there are many spiritual seekers try to figure out what kind of methods really can help us. Yeah, Shakyamuni, Lao Tzu, maybe other spiritual seekers a lot. In our world, there are a lot of these kind of spiritual seekers want to solve human beings' final questions. How to be happy always and no sufferings. Yeah. We do find if we can keep our mind calm, in any situation, if you still can do something, keep your mind calm, 
that inside happiness, you can hold it, or you can always have this happiness. Okay, interesting. But exactly what we can do, what we can use, or what exercise we can use in order to step by step to achieve the internal happy state. Yeah, this is a way we are going to practice. We need to strengthen our Middle Dantian. Middle Dantian is a method which will let us which will let us to stay in this happy state when our mid dantian really to get calm. And then not only our physical body happy, pleasure, our mind, but we simply feel pleasure ourselves. We feel simply happy ourselves. Okay. So now we do this exercise. Visualize our middle dantian. Visualize the middle dantian. Yeah, you can visualize the middle dantian. You can visualize your heart. We say mind determine if you feel happy inside. Okay. Yeah, we put a, put our hands like what I'm doing. Yeah, we put the hands in this way in the middle dantian and relax our body, close our eye, visualize our middle dantian, the red ball, or you can, if you can imagine, visualize your heart, a red heart. Visualization means look at red ball or your heart and keep this imagination. Yeah, this is a way to train our mind to be quiet. Yeah, look at the red ball or the heart. Relax, keep your imagination. Yeah, follow me. Put your hands on mid dantian. For men, left hands inside. For women, right hands inside. Let your thumb connect each other. Visualize your heart, red heart, or a red bow. Close your eyes. That is a visualization or imagination inside your body. Look at the red bow or your heart, red heart.
visualize your heart or visualize a red bow at middle dentine.
Visualize your mid dentian the red ball, or visualize your heart. Relax, be quiet, calm down, calm down. Visualize and meet them here, the red ball or your heart. Calm, be quiet, relax, relax, be calm, calm.
visualize with Dantian the red ball or heart. Be quiet. Calm, calm. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. and just what I showed, we have a good news. And finally, now we have a good news. We have a good news. Chinese embassy will open all kind of visas. So we are Že going to konečne... one retreat. Čínska ambasáda, teda otvorili sa, otvorila sa možnosť dostať víza, takže budeme mať v Šaolinie sústredenie. Takže ak vás to zaujíma, choďte na, tuto, na tento web a prečítajte si novinky. OK, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye. Bye.